In this problem, we're told an ice hockey forward with mass 70 kilograms is skating due north with a speed of 5.5 meters per second. As the forward approaches the net for a slap shot, a defensive player, mass 110 kilograms, skates towards him in order to apply a body check. The defensive player is traveling south at 4 meters per second just before they collide. If the two players become intertwined and move together after they collide, in what direction and at what speed do they move after the collision? Friction between the two players and the ice can be neglected. So let's go ahead and draw what's going on. So I'm just going to use arrows to represent our players, right? So imagine, actually, I'm just going to draw them. So uh, we have this one player, right? So here's one player. They're going to be going north. So here's our player going north. And then we have another player, right? Here's our other player. And they're going to be going south. And they're going to collide, right? So this is going to be what happens before. And then we're going to draw what happens after. Okay, so they're going to be traveling the one on the bottom with mass 70 kilograms, right? Because this one's the one going north at a speed of 5.5 meters per second. This one is going to have a mass of 110 kilograms. And then their speed is going to be 4 meters per second. Right, and what I'm going to do is say up is positive, down is negative. So therefore, we're going to say that their velocity is negative. Okay, and then so what happens after? So they're going to collide, right? So imagine they collide. So imagine they're together as one unit, okay? And so they're going to travel some direction, right? They're either going to go up or down. We don't know yet. That's what we're going to be solving for. But they're going to be one unit. You have to keep that in mind, right? So their mass is going to be them added up together, okay? So it's going to be 70 plus 110, which is 180, right? So their mass is now going to be 180. We're assuming that they just combine perfectly and that uh, they're just like one person now. But yeah, so this is going to be their mass. And then they're going to have some velocity. We can call this... Um, v final i guess right so v final we don't know we're going to try and find that so how do we solve for this so this is what we call a perfectly inelastic collision okay and so when there's a perfectly inelastic collision what we do to solve for it is essentially what we want to do is uh use this formula right so m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to v final plus m1 plus m2. Now why, think about how this works. Essentially what we're doing is using the conservation of linear momentum, which tells us the momentum at the beginning has to be equal to the momentum at the end, okay? And so what we're going to want to do is just use this to solve. Because we know in the beginning there are two separate entities, right? They both have a velocity they, but they, and they have different masses. So we're just adding up the momentum, momentum of the first person plus the momentum of the second person. It's going to be equal to the momentum added up because they're going to become one unit and then their velocity, right? Because they're going to have one velocity because there's the same uh, unit. So this is the formula we use, and we're trying to find v final, right? That's what they want us to find. Um, what is their speed at the end? And so we're just going to use this formula, and we can solve, right? Because we, we're given every variable. So I'm going to call this person heading north m1, right? So they're going to be 1, and then this person's going to be 2. So what this is, this is v2, and then this is v1, right? Because m1 is just the mass of the first person. m2 is the mass of the second person. v1 is the initial velocity of the first person. v2 is the initial velocity of the second person. And then, yeah, so so on, we can just solve. So M1 is 70 times V1, which is 5.5, plus M2, which is going to be 110, times V2. And so V2, since it's going down, we label it negative, right, which I did right here. So times minus 4 is equal to V final, which we don't know. That's what we're trying to find, times M1 plus M2, because they're 1, and we know that is, right? We added them up, 180. And so what we can do is just go ahead and divide by 180 to solve. Right, so this is like a pretty simple problem. Uh, just go ahead and plug this in your calculator. So you want to do, uh, right, you're going to do 70 times 5.5 plus 110 times minus 4, which is just minus 55, and then divide by 180. So when you do this, you're going to get minus 0 0.305555 and so on. Right, so V final, their final velocity is minus 0 0.305555 and so on. Um, yeah, so what this tells us is their velocity is going to be this, and the negative, right? Because remember, we specified north was positive, down was negative. So they're going to be traveling south. So 3.305, 5, 5, and so on. You can round however you want. Just do however your teacher wants you to do. But yeah, so uh, this is going to be their velocity. And then the direction, right? Because we got to specify that too. It's going to be south, right? Because it's negative. So uh, you say this meters per second, right? We got to have the units, and then south. So, yeah, so this is going to be their speed, 0 0.30, however you want around, and then south. That's going to be the direction they go in. But, yeah, so this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.